Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chocolat Luxury Makeup for today's Sunday morning. Get ready with me. I'm going to be trying out the brand new Sicily Paris Fido Tante Perfection Foundation. I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison up against the Fido Tante Ultra Eclat. So if you're curious to see which side is which and which one performs better, keep watching. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I am so excited to be filming this video. This one is a long time coming, you guys. I picked up the brand new Sicily foundation. This is a luminous matte foundation and I've been using it and testing it for a few weeks now. I do really, really like it, but this video is going to be kind of a two part. The first part, I'm definitely going to be talking about this brand new Sicily foundation, but I'm going to wear it side by side in comparison to this Sicily foundation. This is the Fido Tint Ultra Eclat. I have tried these each separately. I really do enjoy both of them, but I'm curious to see how they wear side by side. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do that today. I do have the same shade in both foundations, so hopefully the shade match is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna be using shade two soft beige for each one. But I have gotten several, several questions of people wanting to know the difference between these two. So I thought what I would do is do a side-by-side -side comparison and talk about the differences and show you guys how they look on the skin. And while we're doing that, since it's Sunday and you guys know I love my Sunday morning get ready with me's, I thought we would go ahead and just do a full face of Sicily. I happen to absolutely love, love the Sicily makeup. And we'll kind of talk about that as I'm getting ready. I'm going to start out with my hands down holy grail primer and that is the sicily double tints here i'm actually just going to use this little sample here that i have i have finally finished my open sicily double tints here and i do already have two backups so it's not as if i don't <laughs> i don't have any um i'm just really trying to work my way through some of these open primers that i have i know that i have a youtube channel and i'm a content creator so i have a lot of product right i have a lot of makeup i have a lot of skincare but I'm, I just can't waste things. I hate to waste product. I really, really do. So if I have something open, I want to finish it. That's always my goal is to finish the products that I have. So before I go and open a brand new bottle of my double tincer, I'm going to try and get through some of the primers that I have. We'll see how long I can go. You guys know that the Sicily double tincer is hands down my favorite primer of all primers. It just makes my skin look better. It really, really does. It doesn't matter what foundation I put on top of it. My skin looks flawless. It just looks better. And the makeup lasts longer. So for all of those reasons, it's just my holy grail. It is my holy grail. And I know at some point, probably within another month or two, I will open up my full size. But for right now, I'm going to try and use up some of my open primers. Right, I feel like that was just very, very long-winded. All right, we're going to start with this brand new Sicily foundation. Again, this is the Fido Tint Perfection. It is a luminous, matte, ultra long-lasting skincare foundation. And it is pretty matte. I, I, do, I do think that it is pretty matte. If you are someone who has dry skin, you either need a really, really good moisturizing primer. An example of that would maybe be the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. That one is very, very moisturizing. Um, I haven't tried it underneath this, but that is like the most moisturizing primer that I can think of. So if you are someone with dry skin, you are going to need that extra moisture and extra hydration. But if you are someone with oily skin, I definitely think you should try this. It is really, really good. I don't necessarily think that it's all that luminous, but I do think that it is pretty. It is full coverage, so you're going to get that uh, flawless, matte finish. Since I'm only doing half the face, I did two pumps. The pumps in this foundation are pretty small. So normally I've been using three or four. So that is two. That I think will take up half my face. And again, I have shade two soft beige, but this one's called 2C soft beige. But either way, both foundations are soft beige. There is a fragrance. It's not a horrible fragrance, but there's definitely a fragrance. And I may actually need another pump. 
So I am gonna go in with another pump, but I just wanna show you how the skin is looking right now. So here on my left side is that brand new Cicely foundation. My right side, I have no foundation. So you can see the coverage and how it really evens out my skin. I don't think it looks luminous though. I definitely think it looks matte. I don't think it looks luminous. I think it's beautiful. I think it's pretty and it is very long lasting. I just don't get the luminous part, which is why I think if you are someone with really dry skin, this either isn't going to be the foundation for you or you're going to need a very moisturizing primer. So I'm going to go in with one more pump and see how it builds up and show you guys. All right. I, I mean, flawless, right? It looks flawless. I really, really do like it. But now I'm going to go ahead. I've cleaned off my hand and now I'm going to take the Ultra Eclat and pump out two pumps of that as well. But this one is a radiant finish. So this one should give me a little bit more glow. And I'm going to take a clean BK Beauty 101. And you can see this one, this is two pumps. So you're getting a lot more product per pump. And you can see that this one's just a little bit more runny. Now this one does also have a fragrance. This fragrance is so much stronger than the brand new Cicely foundation. Oh, this one is strong and I have said it in several videos and I stand by it. It smells like my grandma. I don't know what that scent is, but there is a very strong scent. Now the other Cicely foundation that I have tried is the anti-aging one. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. I will pop up a picture of the bottle. I'm completely out of it. That was my favorite, favorite Cicely foundation and I have used the whole entire bottle. I have not repurchased it yet. It is on my list of items to purchase during the next Cicely friends and family sale because it really was just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. All right, so here are both of those foundations side by side. Again, on my right side is the Ultra Eclat, which is a more radiant, long-lasting foundation. And on my left side is the brand new Perfection Foundation, which is a luminous matte. They are both long-lasting. I do think that the new foundation, the Perfection, gives you more coverage. The Ultra Eclat, I would say, is more of a medium, just a plain medium coverage. It is buildable and I did go in and add just a little bit more, but I would say it is a true medium coverage. The Perfection is medium to full, leaning more on that full side. But here they are side by side. Can you see a real noticeable difference? I can feel the difference on my on my skin. So I definitely feel like the Ultra, Ultra Eclat has more moisture. I can feel that in my skin. Not to say that the new Perfection Foundation is drying. It's not. It doesn't look drying. It doesn't feel drying. It just doesn't feel as hydrating as the Ultra Clap. I hope that that makes sense. Now, I just looked in the mirror and if I want to be super, super, super picky, the new Perfection one, I can kind of see more of my fine lines around my eyes than I can with the Ultra Eclat. Again, because this one is a matte, it is going to stick to my skin differently and it's going to feel differently on the skin. So now that said, I really like the coverage of the new Perfection one more than the Ultra Clot. The Ultra Clot, I feel like I need to add more foundation because I want more coverage. And that's just personal preference. That is complete personal preference. You may not like a lot of coverage and the Ultra Eclat would work just fine for you. I just like a little bit more coverage. So I lean more towards that perfection side, but I do think that they both look beautiful. It just all is gonna depend on your own preference. So we're gonna let those sit. We're gonna go ahead and finish off this full face of Sicily. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the eye concealer with botanical extracts and I have shade three. So for the rest of the face, we're just going to do everything the same. Now, I really, I do really, really like the Sisley products. 
when I go back through some of my photos and my videos and I'm looking to see what looked good, what worked, it's always the Sicily products that I gravitate towards. Like, oh, my skin looked really, really good. What was I wearing? It was Sicily. I, I don't even know how to tell you guys. I mean, these products are really, really good. They are pricey. You were going to pay a premium for these products. To me, they are worth that premium price tag. All right, I'm going to go in with my contour stick. This is the Fido Blush Twist, and this is shade Contour. Now, this is the only like contour product that they have and it is technically a blush but the shade name is contour so I presume that it is a contour stick. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. I think Sisley should come out with a line of contour products. I really really do. Their Fido blush twists are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If you have not tried them highly highly recommend them they are a cream but once you start blending them in they turn into a powder it's unbelievable it really really is so your skin just looks flawless after you use them because it really does turn into this silky smooth powder and it just really really works on more mature skin so if they were to come out with a line of contour sticks i think it would be a huge huge hit. Um, I don't think that anyone from Sicily is watching my videos, but if they happen to, that is my recommendation. And if they ever do come out with them, you guys know I'll be the first in line to buy them. Before I go into powder, I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to use one of their cream or liquid shadows. And this is shade number one. I believe it was called, I believe it is called champagne. And I'm just going to take it on the eyelid and use that as a primer. I think the only product that I don't have from Sisley today is going to be mascara. And that's just because I haven't found a Sisley mascara that I absolutely, absolutely love. And as expensive as the Sisley products are, you need to love it, right? I'm going to go in with powder. I'm going to be using the Sisley Loose Powder. You guys already know this is one of my holy, holy grail loose powders. It really, really is. It blurs. It just blurs my skin. It really, really does. I don't even know how to explain it. So did everybody have a good weekend? What did you guys do? Yesterday, I spent most of the day with family. Uh, one of my really, really, really good friends is actually the um, my husband's first cousin. So we were friends before I started dating her cousin, my now husband. So we have a friendship and a relationship completely separate from me and my husband. And yesterday they had a mass, like a memorial mass for her mom who passed away like 30 years ago. So yesterday they had a memorial mass for her. And then last night, you know, everybody in the family went to dinner. And so we got home really late. It was a very long day. I didn't think, I just thought it would be a few hour, like mass dinner. I thought it'd be real quick. It was not, it was definitely not. So we had a very long day, but it was good. And I like that we get to see each other under better circumstances as opposed to like a funeral. I feel like the last time I saw a lot of these family members. It was at a funeral. So to see somebody for a different reason, it was nice. So that was what we did all weekend. I mean, it was, it was nice. And now today is Sunday. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Chicago. I am actually, after I finish getting ready here, I've got a few errands that I have to run. I got to get caught up on some laundry, but I'm really not going to be doing anything too exciting. For cream blush, I'm going to use the Fido Blush Twist in, this is shade number six, and that's what it looks like. It is called Passion. So I'm just going to take my BK Beauty 106 and just tap it in. The last couple of weeks, I've had a lot of work activities after work, different networking events, and so that has kept me very, very busy. And this week, this week is more, more of the same. Um, 
So I'm going to cook a big dinner tonight in hopes that that gives us some leftovers <laughs> for the rest of the week because we really do have such a busy, busy week ahead of us. So I have a couple of these blush twists. I have number six and I have number seven. I like number six the best because it gives this, there's like this added sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see it real well, but there is this added sheen and I just love it. I really, really love it. These I feel like don't get talked about enough, but they are really, really good. I completely forgot my powder bronzer. I was just so busy chit-chatting. I forgot my powder bronzer. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. This is the Sun Gel. I think that's what it's called. Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. It is a long name. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The only problem is this is the only shade. It's the only shade. But for me, it gives the most beautiful, natural, sun-kissed look. I love it. And now we will go in with a blush. I'm going to use the La Orchid. And this is in shade number two, Rose. Now this is another beautiful blush slash highlighter. It's got a little bit of sheen to it. So I'm not going to use a highlighter today. I'm just going to use this. My chair is very, very squeaky. I'm going to try and sit <laughs> as still as I can so it'll stop squeaking. But I do apologize for that. I probably need to get my husband to put some WD-40 on it. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, right now, Cospar is having a sale. It's not even a sale. It is a gift with purchase. So you spend $250 and then automatically added to your cart is this amazing, amazing gift with purchase. And it is, um, I think its value is like $430. I know it's a lot. I know it's a really, really good gift. I have purchased this specific gift with purchase event every single year. They have one in the spring and they have one in the fall. I purchase it every single year. It never, ever disappoints. It is always filled with samples, but they're the deluxe size. So they're bigger and they really give you enough where you can use it for a while to see if you like the product. And then if you end up purchasing one of the samples, inside the card is like a code to save 10% if you buy any of those samples on your next purchase. So it's a really, really good good gift with purchase. And like I said, the minimum spin is 250. They have Sicily there. So I will link everything that I'm wearing today at Cospar as well as the Sicily website. Now I love ordering directly from Sicily. They have an amazing, amazing rewards program. And they also always have amazing gifts with purchase, like full size products. I really, really love it. And I would say probably in about two months. It's usually like in May, I think, that Sicily has their friends and family sale. But it's, you know, it's still a few months away. But I will link that in case you guys are watching this during that friends and family sale and you want to shop. I will have those, um, everything I'm wearing linked also at the Sicily website for you. All right, so I'm just looking at my face side by side just to see if I can see any real difference. And honestly, after powder and all of the other products, I don't see much difference, if any, at all right now. So again, on my right, here is the, the more radiant foundation. This is the Ultra Eclat. And then on my left side is the Luminous Matte. This is the brand new Perfection. I don't really see much of a difference. But we'll, I'm going to keep wearing it. And I will definitely leave a pinned comment down below and let you guys know how it continued to wear throughout the day. I thought what I would use for eyeshadow today are these Fido Eye Sticks, uh, Fido Eye Twist, I believe. I have shade number one and shade number six. We are going to start with shade number one, which is like a taupe kind of brown shade, kind of more bronze, I guess. So I'm going to just take that in the outer corner. I'll just put a little bit on. I'm going to use a Sonia G Fusion brush to blend this in to the eye. 
I do like these Fido eye twists. They're not my favorite of the Sicily eye products, so I don't usually reach for them. But they are good and they will last you all day long. All right, now I'm going to take shade number one, which is a lighter shade. And we're going to pop that in the inner corner. And I've got another one of the Sonia G Fusion brushes to blend that. Like, I think it's pretty, but I still feel like I need... I don't know, I feel like it needs something else. And I probably will go back with some powder. Again, if you're using this and then topping it with powder, it's not going to go anywhere. This eye look will last all day long. Because the cream is going to last all day and then you're really locking it in with that powder. I think if you were trying to be quick and have like an easy one and done, I don't, I don't think that these are really great for that. So I'm going to go with the powder eyeshadow. This is shade number 12, Silky Rose. There, that looks good. I like that. It just needed a little bit something extra. And I think that that Silky Rose eyeshadow on top of it really, really made this eye look come to life. So that is what it looks like right now. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes off camera. I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite Sicily eyeliners. These are the Fido Coal Star Waterproof Eyeliners. They are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I have shade number six, which is a dark brown um, eyeliner. And then, like I said, I don't have a Sicily mascara. So I'm just going to use the brand new Christian Louboutin one that I picked up a few weeks ago. So I'm going to go ahead, put all of that on off camera, and then we'll be back to finish up this full face of Sicily with some lipstick. Here's that finished eye look. I think it looks really, really beautiful. And then adding the eyeliner and mascara brought everything together. So I'm loving the way it looks. And I just looked into a magnifying mirror to see how the face was looking, if there was any noticeable difference. Honestly, I don't see much of a difference. I, the only, like if I have to be super, super nitpicky, and again, it's the same thing, on the side with the new Perfection Foundation, my skin does look slightly more drying. You know, there might be the lines around my eyes are showing just a little bit more, but that is being extremely extremely nitpicky otherwise I think both sides look beautiful and I really don't notice much of a difference at all the ultra eclat is slightly more radiant but not by a lot honestly I think both sides look absolutely flawless I really really do I am very very impressed and like I said I have been using this foundation for about two weeks now I have used it with different primers and I have been very, very impressed every time that I wore it. I do think that it is very, very beautiful. So now I'm going to move on to lips. And since I used the Fido Blush Twist, the Fido Eye Twist, I thought I would use a Fido Lip Twist. And I do have a few of these, so I want to swatch them for you. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all the ones that I have for you, just so that if you are looking to pick up one of these and you need some swatches, hopefully this will help you. I'm gonna start off by lining my lips and putting on, I'm gonna use shade number 15. After I put those on, then I will swatch the other shades. So I'm gonna use my Sicily Lip Liner. This is in shade number, this is shade Beige Natural. Sicily Lip Liners are the best. They really, really are, again, they are expensive. There is that hefty price tag, but in my opinion, they are the best, the absolute best lip liners on the market. So I'm going to take shade number 15. Now this is the Fido Lip Twist. Oh, 
I love these. They are really, really pretty. They are not going to be super long lasting, but they are very hydrating. They feel really, really good on the lips and they're just so easy to just throw in your purse and easily apply throughout the day. Really, really like them. So now what I'll do is I'll swatch all the different ones that I have in case you are interested in picking any of them up, you can kind of see the different uh, shades. I thought I had more shades than I actually do. I have three, but I ended up having two of shade 19 and two of shade 15. So I'm gonna start with one. One is my favorite just because it's so everyday. It's just that beautiful nude. So that is shade number one. And then this is 15. That's what I am wearing right now. And then this is shade 19. So 1, 15, and 19. That completes today's Sunday morning get ready with me and the full face of Sicily. Let me know down below what you guys think. Now, in the beginning, I told you I was comparing the two foundations, the brand new Fido Tante Perfection and the Fido Tante Ultra Eclat. I did them on my face side by side. I really, really like them both. I think that they are absolutely beautiful. The Sisley products are gonna leave your face flawless no matter what. Now, if I had to choose a favorite between these two foundations, I think I would go with the Ultra Eclat. That is only because the Perfection one, while it is beautiful for my skin, it might just be a little bit too drying. I don't wanna see lines and wrinkles around my eyes. That is my number one concern. My absolute number one concern with aging is my fine lines and wrinkles around my eye. So although this foundation doesn't emphasize it a lot, I can still see it a little bit and I don't, I don't want that. Now, am I going to stop using this foundation? No, I'm still going to wear it. I still think that it is beautiful, but if I have to be, if I have to pick a favorite of these two, it's going to be the Ultra Eclat. Now, like I said, the anti-aging foundation is my favorite, favorite Sicily foundation. I don't have it right now, so I can't compare the new Perfection up against it, but I don't think that they are going to be similar at all, at all. And I still think that the anti-aging one is going to be my favorite. If you are someone with oily skin, I think you would really, really like this brand new Perfection foundation. It is beautiful absolutely beautiful and it is it is a beautiful matte foundation so i do think that you would like it but i will definitely i will definitely leave a pinned comment down below and let you guys know how it wore throughout the day and if you know if there was any changes in the appearance on either side now i am filming this on sunday morning so this video will either go up sunday night or monday morning so whichever one i will definitely leave that pinned comment to let you guys know let me know what you guys think as far as which side looks better on me. Do you guys like that luminous matte or do you like the ultra eclat with the radiant finish? Let me know. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video.